folks, I've had a, um, I don't know if it's a, uh, if he's a subscriber or a just a viewer, uh, send me a message, and he's asking about how to do a lot of screenshots out of Adobe Premiere Pro. He sent it to me kind of as a private message, so I'm not going to say his name. I'm just going to read you his message. He wants to know how to take a screenshot automatically in Adobe Premiere Pro. He says, I need to make a lot of screenshots in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 but I do not have a lot of free time. Is there a way that it can do it automatically, frame by frame, screenshots? Well, what he's asking about is like a JPEG sequence or a TIFF sequence, or you can do it as a, P, a ping, a PNG. It just depends on how you want to export it or what the needs of whoever you're sending it to would be. So what I've got here, I'm going to do an example. I'm going to do another sequence right quick. I, this is a garden time lapse that I've done that shows my garden over time. Uh, and it's it was uh, it right now it's in a 1080p sequence. I'm pretty sure I have that that way. But I'm gonna do a new sequence. And since I shot this in 2.7k, uh, it doesn't really matter what I pull up here. I can pull up anything 1080p. I'll show you a little trick. We're just gonna call this JPEG sequence. And I'm gonna say okay. So it, right now it's a 1080p sequence, but we're gonna let Premiere Pro change this. You know what, since he's using CS5 though, I'm not sure if it automatically does this like it does with the Premiere Pro CC. So there, there may be a little trick here. Let's, 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 uh, I've got this one, let's do another one called New Sequence. Let's call this uh, JPEG Sequence 2. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you how it would work with CC. And we'll do this JPEG sequence right here, it pops up. I'm gonna go ahead and close these other two sequences because it just confuses the matter. So I'm gonna to go to almost any day here, I think, that uh, where I shot video here, 612. So here's gonna be me standing. What, what I do, I go to my garden and I stand for about, you know, 30 seconds there and then I create a time sequence and over, over time it makes kind of a cool garden time lapse video. Anyway, I'm gonna let this one change the sequence instead of keeping existing settings this is on the I've got the right man let me cancel this for a second or I'm not sure which one I have open here anyway this is the one we'll let do let CC do its thing because in W Premiere Pro CC you can tell it go ahead and change the sequence settings and now uh, this is JPEG sequence 2 so if I go to JPEG sequence 2 over here and look it has been converted to a 2.7 K so it's instead of it being 1920 by 1080 it's 2704 by 1536 and this is important to me because I want it to be a really I want it to be big if I'm going to be exporting photos I want to have the best quality photos so what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to pull this over where I go and stand in the in the garden so there you go let's, let's let a little bit of motion happen with this one here I'll be walking toward it or whatever so I'm walking to my spot where I typically go to stand I'm going to make this a very purposefully a very small piece of video here because these pictures are very big <laughs> and I don't want to eat my hard drive space up. So here I've got uh, I don't know, six, looks like six uh, seconds and 18 frames of video. Now I could, yeah, I could pull this on over a little bit more and just cut that off a little bit. So now I'm going to have a bunch of, uh, of uh, photos of myself that I want to export now. First of all, for those of you who just want to know how to export one single frame, say I want just this one frame, you click this little uh, photo button over here right or control shift E you see that and you click that and then you can pick what kind of of image you want to be now I typically go with bitmap or something or TIFF or something from this instead of JPEG why and, and I don't know if it's changed or not but it used to be that it wouldn't let you pick what kind of JPEG what level you know, did you want to be maximum quality or medium quality it seemed like it, in the old versions it would just be a uh, level 7 or a, you know, just a medium quality JPEG. Maybe it doesn't do that anymore. Let's just check it and see. Okay, it did, once again, it didn't give me any any option, did it? So it picked some level to do it. But So I would usually pick bitmap because it would give me the highest quality that I could open up in Photoshop. So, the, But there is a way that it does give you a, a quality. Let's say you want to do every single frame of this as a JPEG. So here's what my, the guy is asking. I'm going to say File, Export, Media, and I'm going to go to JPEG. I've already selected it because I tested this a while ago just to make sure it work. So I've got the image formats I have are JPEG. It's like I have GIF, which would work. I've got uh, 
ping, which would be another good option. And you got TIFF down here. See guys, do you see any more? Yeah, I see BMP. So there are all there are these are all image formats that could be used. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in JPEG this time because that actually is gonna work for me. Frame rate 24 frames per second. Uh, yeah, that that works. I think I actually shot this in 29.97. It says export as a sequence. Uh, I could go ahead and I guess I could. I think I did shoot it 29.97. I'm gonna go ahead and do that actually. Okay. And I've, I've already clicked use maximum render quality. It probably won't come up that way. But see here, if you pick JPEG from this option, you've got a quality setting. Look at that. So you could decide if you want it to be like, you know, the eight, about, a, you know, about a medium quality JPEG is going to be 70 to 80, somewhere like that. I like to go full quality, 100%, right? Okay, so I want this to go. I'm going to navigate over to this folder. Here's my 2.7K time lapse. Now, I've made a thing called JPEG Sequence. I'm going to save it into that folder. Okay. And it's going to be called JPEG Sequence 2. And I'm going to say Export. And so now what it's doing is it's writing bunches and bunches of JPEGs, high quality JPEGs, going into that folder. So if I hit Cancel at any time, which is perfectly legitimate to do, it's writing those. They're not going to go away. We'll shorten this video because of it. I'm going to say cancel. And if I pull this folder over here where I have all my videos, here's the JPEG sequence video. I'm going to open it up and you'll see lots of JPEGs. So I'm going to double click on one of them. You'll see Photoshop will pop open. It's just a level, uh, it's a level uh, 12 JPEG. And if I zoom in here, you'll see us. So let's go to actual pixels 100%. So those are actual pixels, 2.7K. Boy, doesn't I look fat, chunky. <laughs> anyway, but you get a really good view of my garden. So now you've got a, a, an image that you can go in and you can do all the things that you would typically do in Photoshop. Like this one, I'm sure I'd probably go to filter and sharpen. And I'd probably do an unsharp mask. And then you can see right quick that you get something that's pretty, pretty decent looking. I'll do a control zero and get it back. And there you got a nice sharp image of my garden as I walk out to uh, stand in my spot. So that's how you do it with CC. Now CS5, a little different might be. I'm going to delete all these. I think it'll let me. Boom, it did. Okay. So we'll save back to the same folder. Let's go back to Premiere Pro. And so now uh, probably the way he's going to end up doing this in uh, the, the only difference is going to be this, we'll cancel, is rather than letting it do the JPEG sequence itself, here we still have a 1080p JPEG, uh, JPEG sequence. I'm going, to close the, I'm going to close this. In CS5, I think what I need to do is I actually need to set up the sequence manually. So if I know I've shot in 2.7K, which is 2704 by 1536, the viewer is probably going to have to say file, new, sequence. He's going to have to pick that sort of sequence. You're probably going to find that down here with red. You can go down here and find like the, uh, I think the 2K settings here are 24. Yeah, you might want to go to 3K. You might end up being having a little bit of uh, space around the outside. So here, this is a little bigger than 2.7K than photo. But I'm going to go ahead and pick that. It doesn't matter which, I, well, you know, it depends on how many frames you want to get out of this. But I'm going to go ahead and, since I shot that in, uh, I think I shot it in, you got shot in 29.97. I'm going to pick the 29.97 and say OK. So what I've got, I've got a sequence that's a little bigger than my, than my video. Let me go ahead and pick this one, 623. And I'll pick the portion that I want to show in the video and wait let's go to right here here we go here i'm gonna stand and probably wave usually i do yep there we go now i'm going to pull that down in here and now it's going to say uh see you're in cs5 it's probably not going to do this i think cs6 and cc it, it has the thing where you it, i mean it doesn't even give you this option where you can change the sequence so that it matches the exact dimensions of the picture I'm going to say keep existing settings now just so you'll see what it will, what will happen if you pick that RD3 setting. It'll just come in there like that and you'll have some black around it. You can just crop those in Photoshop or whatever if you need to. But from this point on, it's the very same uh, uh, way that it does it. You'll say file, export. You have to make sure, first of, first of all, that this is highlighted. See the yellow around this? This is what uh, tells it that it's active. 
say file export media again and then pick whatever you want. I'm this time I'm going to pick bitmap. Bitmap is actually a little higher quality than JPEG. So we'll say okay and we're going to uh, I don't want to go there. I want to go here to go to this. I'm going to go to JPEG sequence. Say open. Okay, and we're going to say save. And then I'm going to say export. And once again, we're exporting a bunch of big bitmap images this time. I'm going to say cancel. Uh, I didn't let it finish because it's just writing a lot of sequence. And there you go. Once again, you've got uh, all these photos. I'm going to double click on it. It's going to come up. Uh, that time it didn't pull Photoshop up up because it, it it's not associated bitmap. I guess it's associated with Windows Photo Viewer here. But if I right click on that and say Open with Adobe Photoshop CC, then it's going to open right up. And once again, same same quality image that you get with the other. Let's do a 100%. And there you go. And once again, you can say Filter. I did a while ago in Sharp Mask, and we bring it all to life like that. So folks, that's how you would do a, a, a batch export of all photos. It's just called image sequence. Very easy to do out of Premiere Pro. It took way longer for me to explain than it probably took to do it, it'll ever take to do it. So there you go. Uh, any other questions you've got, folks, let me know. I hope this has helped someone out there, uh, just apart from the, the fellow that uh, sent me the message. And thank you so much for doing that, my friend. Uh, hopefully I've been of assistance and just trying to do this, these kinds of things to answer anyone's question, make uh, video and photo and image making graphic design easier for those who are out there trying to do it. Peace.